you know we're gonna be doing DVA transition effect so I'm having two videos on my timeline which I want to make a transition effect on it so depending on how much frames per second is your clips if you're using 24 25 frames you can cut one second from the first one if you're using 50 or 60 frames you can cut half of them that means 25 or 30 frames I'm using 50 frames so I'm cutting 25 frames that is from the first video and then pushing the second one under it then I right click on the second small video and change the color to orange yellow or whatever you want I'm gonna tell you later now you go to the fusion while highlighted and then you can open the clips tab and that you can see that the yellow one is opened that way if you're new to DaVinci you're not gonna be confused on which clip you're working on now when we're sure that we're working with the right one you want to highlight the media in control space and open the DVA leave it in the middle of them and on your timeline in the fusion you're gonna see the in and out point of your video so this is the beginning of the clip and you want to select the DVA and go to the inspector and change the pivot to x values of 0 that way we're gonna move the center to the left and after you set it up you can make some keyframes on the rotation in my case I'm gonna using the y values of rotation so I'm going in the beginning point of that clip and then I'm setting a keyframe on the default values of Y, which is on zero. So I'm clicking diamond and then I'm going on the timeline and I'm moving the playhead to the end of that clip, which is the out point around 400 frames. And then I'm going to the Y values and I'm changing them to minus 90, which is going to create the second keyframe, which is going to make it flip to the left side. There is also other settings in this DVA. You can make it blurry and play with the motions, but I'm not going to go in details. I'm just gonna show the very basic and now you're having this movement and now what you can do is you can still select the DVA node and then go to the spline which is right here in the spline window you want to select the DVA so that you can see your keyframes then you want to expand to see all the keyframes and now when I'm having a clear look I can see that I'm having two keyframes so you want to highlight both of them and on the down menu you can select the smooth which is this one that way we can be more precise with the keyframes and make it smoother I'm gonna pull one to the right so I can make a curve and that way I'm gonna make it easy out this is the final result and I suggest you watch this video right here because I'm showing 10 effects under 10 minutes I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it thanks for watching and see you in the next one